To begin with, find a manage button on the top and click on it. It will take you to a dashboard where among a lot of other things you will find blogs on the right hand side so click on blogs. Now since this is going to be the first time you're creating your blog you will be asked to create one so click on create a blog and give it a page name. I'm just going to name mine blog. You can give it whatever name you like and also give it a parent page if you like and then click OK. Um, your blog page is ready. If you scroll down a little you'll find two buttons here one is new post and the other is manage blog. For now let's just create a post and to do that you have to click on new post. There are clear written indications on how to create your post. For instance here you enter your post title. Mine is going to be Shakespeare. Um, and in the post container section below you can add elements like a paragraph or image or a video or anything you want to add to your blog. So to start off with I will drag and drop a paragraph and give in some content. Now the next thing I want to do is add an image. So I find the image widget, drag and drop in place. I have one installed already, it's in my file so I'm just going to click on it um, then click OK. The image appears, now I also want to add a video. So find the video widget, and drag and drop since I'm getting the video from YouTube, I get the embed code from there and paste it over here. Um, I'm done creating the content for my blog. To add a category, just click Add Quotes. In the tags below, it's very important that you include the most relevant words associated with your blog. I scroll back on top and I find a Publish Post button and I'm going to click on it. The reason I did this is to show you this very important message that you have to publish your site to access your blog page which means that your posts do not go live unless your website is published. So click on OK, find the publish button on top and click on it to publish your website. Here you can access your website URL, click on the blog page find your post and also find the very important social media buttons below. The other important thing is a subscribe via RSS link here. The next thing I'm going to do is post a comment. So I click on comments click submit and the comment appears here. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to manage your blog settings. Now I'm going to click on the manage blog button so it takes me to a page where I can moderate the posts and the comments and add to my categories and tags or remove them and basically set my blog preferences. You find all the options on the left hand side. Well with your blog preferences you can um, allow your comments, moderate them, set your email notifications, your social share buttons click on them or and uh, how many posts per page you want to have say 10 click save your blog settings have been saved if you go to posts you can choose whether you want to disable comments on your posts or delete it the little X mark would be to delete your post so you find these options on the right hand side with comments you can choose whether you want to um, approve a comment or unapprove it or trash it completely but make sure you tick the comment before you make any changes like unapproving or approving it. So if you say for example you want to unapprove this comment, I've ticked on it, click on unapprove, okay, and click on the pending, you find it over there, it shows pending one. I'm going to click again and click approve. It's been approved. The next thing is categories. You can add a category or find the icons on the side to rename or to delete a category. And it's the same for tags. 
Now I'm also going to show you that you can make your blog page the home page on your website. Okay, so for that I'm going to go back to edit site. It's very easy to do this, just find the wrench icon on the corner, um, scroll down to manage pages, click on it. You find blog here, place your cursor there and drag it above home and drop. Hit save. Now click publish, access your website and you find that the blog is the first page anyone will see when they visit your website. Thank you.